Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to display checkbox for active and inactive values in SSRS report. We will create empty report, play with some properties called font family, and then we will use the CHR function and then finally write some expressions. So let's go to the SSMS and take a look. Right now I'm selecting the data from total sale table and one of the column is called the status flag. So this is a bit type column and I have some values, uh, those are active and some of uh, are inactive. Uh, so we are going to use that one. So let's copy the query, go to the SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. Uh, I already have SSRS project to open. Uh, click on the Reports tab, Add New Item. Click on the Report and then uh, you will be clicking uh, here to provide the name. Uh, so let's call this one Check Box Report. Uh, click on Add empty report will be created you click on the data sources right click add data source and then provide the name I'm gonna call this one DS sales and this is going to use the shared data source reference so I'm gonna select this sales that's the shared data source I already have created hit OK now go to the data set right click add data set and provide the name let's call this one DSET sales this is going to be embedded in the report. Select the data source and provide your query here. Hit OK. Now in the design surface, right click, go to insert and the table. Let's make this one a little big so we can see the things. And bring a couple of fields here. First name, last name, and the last thing I would like to have it is status flag. Let's make the header bold and give some color at least our report will look fancy so preview the report now you can see that the status flag is true for some of the values here and so for others one it is false instead of displaying true and false I would like to display a checkbox so checkbox that should be checked for true and it should be empty for the false that's what uh, that's what I want to do go to design now and in check if you have a column fine if you would like to even delete this one fine but I would like to keep the values uh, just to check uh, and then I would like to have another column uh, for the checkboxes uh. so I'm gonna click here press F4 and go to properties uh, and find font once you find a font uh, here the very first is font family so cl you click here and then one of the font family style you need to find is called the wing ding so wing dings that's the fam uh, family uh, font family we are going to select uh, and uh, once you select that you see these uh, different symbols uh, here so we are going to use that symbols uh, and uh, come back to your uh, text box uh, and right click and say expressions uh, once you're here we are going to write expression we are going to say i, I if uh, the field is true so status flag is true what we would like to have it we would like to have a checkbox so I'm gonna call this one CHR and then I know the code 254 is the code that will display the that checkbox so so by passing this integer value to the CHR function this is gonna display a character in and character is a checkbox so that has checked so now for the empty checkbox CHR 168 and the parenthesis close so if the value will be true we will have checkbox which will be checked and if the value will be false we will have a checkbox that will be vacant or empty so that's fine hit OK now you see that the fonts are here we see those checkboxes and all that that's because we have selected the font family wing dings so preview the report and now you can see that uh, your report has uh, where the values are true it is a checkbox uh, and it is checked and the rest of that is empty there there are other uh, symbols available as well if you would like to play with that you can uh, google it so let's say if we say wing dings wing dings checkbox so it will bring uh, those uh, correct sets for us uh, let me uh, show you few of them and you can see here for the empty I have used 168 and for the checked one I have used 254 if you would like to have these one let's say you have just want to have checkbox so it is 
252 and if you would like to have a cross uh, okay you have 251 so it's your choice you can play with these symbols and whatever is your requirement you can change accordingly so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video